Let's break down how you should put on your sunscreen. A lot of people think that sunscreen doesn't work or they got burned even though they put on their sunscreen, but probably the problem was in the application or the reapplication. For your face, it comes down to whether or not you're using a mineral-based sunscreen that has zinc in it or a chemical-based sunscreen. If it's a mineral-based sunscreen, it's going to be your last step before your makeup if you're wearing makeup. So you would put on your bare face your antioxidant serum, your vitamin C serum, then you'd put on your moisturizer, and then you'd put on your mineral-based sunscreen. It's great if it's tinted, it doesn't have to be, but those are the steps. Then after that, should you want to, you would then put on your makeup. Now that's not what you do if it's a chemical-based sunscreen. Chemical-based sunscreens you wanna put on after your antioxidant, but actually before your moisturizer. So you would wake up, you would put on your vitamin C serum, you would put on your chemical sunscreen, and then you'd put on your moisturizer, and then you'd put on your makeup. And the reason for that difference is chemical sunscreen needs to be absorbed into your skin to work well, while zinc-based sunscreens or mineral sunscreens actually reflect light and should be on the top layer of your skin. The reason why I don't like combination sunscreens is zinc stays on the top layer of your skin. So if it's staying on that top layer of skin, if it's also a moisturizer, it's not going to do a very good job. So when I use my sunscreen, I use an antioxidant, I use my moisturizer, and then I use a zinc-based sunscreen. If you do use a combination product that has chemical sunscreen and is also a moisturizer, that's okay because the chemical sunscreen actually has to penetrate into your skin. So in the order, if it's a zinc-based sunscreen, you do vitamin C, you do your moisturizer, and then you do your zinc-based sunscreen, and then you do your makeup. If it's a chemical-based sunscreen, you gotta put it on before your moisturizer. Now, there's a couple other things you have to think about. Chemical sunscreen hypothetically take 20 to 30 minutes to work because they have to be absorbed into your skin. The way it works with chemical sunscreens is chemical sunscreens are absorbed into your skin, actually absorb the energy from the sun and convert it into heat, which is then released from your skin. Zinc-based sunscreens actually just reflect the sun before it even penetrates your skin. So those are supposedly the two different ways they work. Every two hours, you have to reapply your sunscreen. And that reapplication process, even if you're using a chemical sunscreen, it will still be of benefit to you if you're putting it on top of your makeup or on top of your moisturizer. It's just important to reapply. And I think that's the other thing that people really mess up with is that reapplication process has to happen every two hours and you have to use a lot. Like you're inside all day and you're just putting sunscreen to get to work and because there's some windows, fine reapplication is less important but if you're out on a sunny vacation you really need to be good about that reapplication every two hours just for your face alone you need a teaspoon of sunscreen doesn't matter if you're using zinc or if you're using chemical it still needs to be a quarter teaspoon of product that you put on your face every two hours that can be hard so it's really important and what i do when i travel is i bring a lot of different options i'm in a sunny climate i'm in sicily right now we are putting on sunscreen all the time i have a lot of different options i actually will show you a picture of all the different things i brought on this trip that's to make sure that not only myself, but also my family really feels comfortable reapplying sunscreen. But sunscreen's just part of this thing that you have to do. You really most importantly need to seek shade. And the reason for that is that no matter how well you reapply sunscreen, there's still gonna be some sun that's gonna get to you and using shade, avoiding the sun during the really, really hot time of the day is gonna help protect your skin. I also wear long sleeve shirts. I always wear hats. I always wear polarized sunglasses. And you know, that seems like a lot of work, but as I always tell people, it's much easier to protect your skin than to correct your skin. So find some hats that you think are pretty, find some sunglasses that you love to wear, you know, if you have the money, get the cabana, get the umbrella, because all of those things are going to protect your skin even when you're in sunny climates. Let me know if you have any questions. Just put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this content, please like it. If you like this content, please subscribe and look forward to seeing you all again soon.